Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all staying well and safe. For today I've prepared a starry night galaxy with some silhouette trees and bushes. Before starting, I wanted to mention that if you are learning watercolors or want to advance in your art, make sure you check out my channel as you can find here over 100 watercolor tutorials and also links for some free sketches I shared to help you get started and stay inspired. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for I upload new tutorials at least twice a week and hit the notification bell so you don't miss them. I'm starting my painting with pre-wetting the entire paper and all the materials I will be using for this painting will be listed down in the description box, so go ahead and check it out. We won't be using a lot of colors, the color that we're gonna be using the most is indigo and as you can see right now I'm picking up the paint from my palette and I'm picking quite amount of paint and you do need a lot of it and quite saturated with as less water as possible, just enough water to pick it up from the palette, but not to quite to water it down actually, because we did pre-wet our paper and the paint will be a little bit diluted when we add it to paper and when it mixes with that water. So don't dilute it a lot on your palette. Next thing I'm doing is adding a little bit of cadmium yellow medium in a lower part of our painting and just be careful to keep your paper wet because you know if dries then it will leave those markings well those harsher transitions between colors we're using and that is not actually what we want just keep in mind to go here and there just a little bit in an indigo just a little bit in a cadmium yellow medium and just add colors all the time here and there to keep your paper wet the paint I've used for the middle part is actually azure and I do want that transition between indigo and cadmium yellow medium right now I'm using also some burnt sienna because I do want some darker parts in my lowest part of the sky and in the part where I've used yellow. I'm painting sky doing the round motions, circular motions, because I find it to be the best way to get some more texture and to get more diversity in the sky and to make it appear that some in some parts it is a, bit, a little bit lighter and in some parts it's a little bit darker. With tissue paper I'm picking now some paint because I do want some parts to be even lighter and so I'm using a tissue paper. We will be doing a second layer and cover that up partially so don't be too focused on that but still when we do add a second layer that part will be just slightly lighter and that is what we want. And when the paint completely dries we will be doing a second layer and the second layer will be actually done exactly the same as the first one. I've painted in the upper part of the sky in indigo color. Then for the middle part I'm using azure and just painting it slightly lighter. And to the lowest part this time I did not add any color. I just wetted it because I do want the colors to bleed slightly downwards. So I added a little bit of water but this time I find it to be quite enough yellow, quite enough saturated in that part so I did not add any more water. With the brush now I'm picking up some paint in the lowest part of my sky because there, that is the part that I want to be slightly lightest and to look like there is some Milky Way or some stars and constellation there. So that is why I've picked up a little bit of the paint from that part. And right now I'm adding a little indigo and I've tilted my paper because I want that color to bleed slightly into the, that yellow as I've said earlier. Also just be careful to when it bleeds into it to not make any puddles but just to try to make it as even as possible. In my opinion, every painting goes through an ugly phase. I think this one will have a couple of them, but you know, that is also very normal and just keep working on it. And I think at the end you will be quite happy and keep in mind, we all do. I, I have every single painting of mine goes through an ugly phase and I'm just asking myself, what are you doing? That's awful. You know, just leave that painting, but I never leave. I always finish my work because you know, I do believe that if you finish your painting, you're getting out that maybe some negative energy or 
or whatever there is in you so just when you start your next painting it will all be out and the next painting could be a masterpiece so maybe this one won't turn out to be perfect but you have to finish it to get it out of your system Again, when the paint completely dries, I'm using a flat, this is an old Fizzed Stift brush to add some white gouache because I want that part where my constellation is to be a little bit lighter. So I'm just tapping in the white gouache and I'm not using a lot of water, just, well, just enough to make that paint a little more watery because, you know, gouache is quite creamy and I do want it to be a little bit watered down so I'm just tapping in tapping in tapping in and in also tapping in I'm also smudging the paint slightly and making it blend into my background and it and when it dries it will blend even more so don't be scared or worried wow if you add white gouache and you have this white blob well just tap it in on it and it will blend with your background color especially if in a background you have a colors that you can actually pick up from the paper so when it dries I promise you it will be a little bit lighter and also I've added some clouds with that white gouache which was now mixed with my indigo and those clouds turn out to be well bluish somewhat bluish and not completely white from the white gouache afterwards I'm adding some stars and I do like my a lot of stars in my galaxy so I again used that old flat brush to add in that smaller stars and after that I'm using script brush to add slightly bigger stars especially in that part where my constellation is and when finished with that I'm using a smaller round brush to add in even more that white here and there on my constellation and just adding a little bit of white gouache a little bit of indigo color and playing with some shadows and highlights on that Milky Way. Also, I'm not using a lot of water in my brush, just a little bit, and I'm actually picking up the paint, this indigo, now from, straight from the palette. And I did not dilute it with water because I do want it to be dark and I don't want it to be watered down and watery. So I am picking it up straight from the palette, quite saturated and quite thick and afterwards adding a little bit more of the stars and now i'm just adding a couple more those are maybe some planets or some lights doesn't matter what something in the sky and for that i've used the mix of cadmium yellow medium and i added just a little bit of white gouache in it to make it more visible and again with that old stiff brush I'm painting in now the trees, silhouettes of the trees and as you can see I'm not really painting every single tree or bush I'm just tapping in the color and making the impression of there are some trees or bushes and with the script brush now I am adding a couple of more trees and making those look as they are sticking from the bushes or smaller trees for painting silhouettes I am using neutral black because I do want them to be quite dark but you can also if you want you can also use that dark very saturated indigo color but I use neutral black I personally think it does look a little bit better and maybe gives that higher contrast and now my camera unfortunately stopped so but you did not miss much I used just a white gel pen to add some shooting stars and later on afterwards I've used a script brush to add in some shooting stars with a white gouache because you know many of you maybe don't have the white gel pen so I just wanted to show you that you can actually do that also with the white gouache afterwards I added a little bit more of the stars and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support and if you like this video please hit the like button share it comment if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel you you know already everything and without further ado I hope I'll see you next time bye